Denver digs, Denver digs, Denver digs. I'm excited because we're about to go into Osaka ramen. And so I hope you're ready for some homemade, made from scratch, bone broth that tastes so good when it hits your lips. And if you last, let's go in and see Caitlin and see what this is all about. What's up, Denver Diggs? What's up, Denver Diggs? What's up, Denver Diggs? We are in for a treat. Let's do this. What's up, Denver Diggs? We're down in the basement at Osaka Ramen. Shh. There's a secret menu. I'm here with Caitlin today. Caitlin, thank you for having us. Thanks for coming down. Really appreciate it. We're gonna share the secret today. We'll get to that. Mm -hmm. Let's start with how this ramen starts because Jeff, the owner, has like mom's family recipes. Most people have got lasagna or some kind of noodle dish or for my mom, you know, it's the secret taco she makes. But for Jeff, it's the secret ingredients in the ramen. Tell us how it starts from scratch to go into a delicious bowl of ramen? Well, with our broth, we actually make everything from the beginning. We use all animal parts, bones, necks, mm. skin, everything going into the pot. Um, I don't know if you saw those huge pots that we've got back there. You probably fit a person in there, but that's not the super secret menu. <laughs> but we put everything in there. We cook them up for 24, 48 hours, okay. and then it turns into broth. Mm. Um, there's carrots, garlic, onions, that kind of stuff in there. The good bone broth the with all the nutrients broth. and the deliciousness and the full flavor. Yep, absolutely. That makes it the bomb. Are there noodles in a ramen bowl? There are noodles. This we have is not a trick noodles. question. Oh, tell no, us about yeah, the noodles. Yeah, we got noodles. Um, so Jeff's been using the same recipe. It's we're the only ones that use this recipe out of okay. Sun Noodles. They're a famous noodle place down in San Francisco, and they make them just for us. It's been the same ones all these years. I think they're particularly delicious. I love it. Um, we have, I've never heard of this before at a ramen place, a seasonal menu. Yeah, a seasonal menu. We were just talking about green chili and chorizo ramen. Give our viewers an idea of what to expect on the seasonal menu. Uh, we try to do a lot of uh, things that are gonna be in season. Jeff likes fresh ingredients, mm. things that are going on. So this green chili and chorizo is one that we bring back every year. It's obviously gonna be the hatch green chili and chorizo. Mm. It's in a chicken broth. You've got cabbage, cotija cheese, lime, cilantro. And it's just a nice little fusion that we do throughout most of the fall. Okay. Um, we also do some like a sweet corn um, ramen from Olathe and we get corn from there, bring it in with some pork and chicken broth, pork shoulder, and then we just try to mix it up the rest of the year, bring in fresh new things, fusion dishes, that kind of thing. Okay, very cool. Love all the mix-ins in there that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. My mouth's watering already. <laughs> um, so we got spring inspired, summer inspired, fall inspired. But what about the secret menu? The secret menu is a salmon ramen that you won't find on any piece of paper down here in the basement. It's gonna be a chicken and pork broth with miso paste, miso glazed salmon, bok choy, pickled ginger, scallions, and egg. It is exceptional. And it's something that if you're coming down and looking for a seafood dish, um, I happen to be a big fan of our salmon and it just goes really well in that broth. Caitlin doesn't even have to be here for you to order off the secret menu. Now ask for it if you're here, but you can order off the secret menu mm -hmm. without her. Any day. Now, what about happy hour? I mean, everybody loves happy hour. Tell us a little bit about the happy hour. Yeah, it's the happiest hour of the day. We do uh, Monday through Friday, four to five. Okay. You can get half off of all glasses of wine, glasses of sake. We have the Tivoli rice ale, um, and then the Colorado Sake Co. Uh, cider that we carry. 
can get half of all of the small plates as well. So you can come down here, get fed, have some drinks for a pretty cheap deal. Okay, love, love, love it. Value and flavor, mm -hmm. come on down. Um, is there anything else that our viewers should know when they step down the stairs right here in Rhino mm -hmm. and into the world of Osaka ramen? Come down hungry. We got, we're not just known for our ramen. You know, we have some exceptional small plates, the chicken karage, I think is one of my favorite things in town. Um, if you want to come down and expand your sake knowledge, we've got a good sake selection over here, well-versed staff. But yeah, get ready for some noodles, some loud music, and a good time. Boom! Whether it's unfiltered sake, which is my personal favorite, favorite beer. Uh, some nice Japanese beer, mm -hmm. or even maybe some purple haze or something, uh, non-filtered uh, sake. Yeah, yeah, something or fancy. Or the secret menu or the seasonal menu. Get on down here. Caitlin, thank you for everything. Thank it's you, a Corey. pleasure. Thanks for your time today. All right, Denver Diggs, do it and do it now. Get down to Rhino, go downstairs to Osaka Ramen. So long for now. Mm -hmm.